Hello and I welcome back to my tutorials. Today I will uh, talk about Git and why I use Git and why I not use Subversion or uh, FTP protocol to uploading my developer files to, to a web server. So FTP it's easy uh, and uh, a lot of uh, web hostings uh, have it and it's uh, easy for the web hostings uh, customers to connect but if you have a multi of um, of developers in your team or you love to look what's happening when you change the line and uh, this line and what's happening inside the code you cannot use ftp and i i really not recommend it to use ftp back in the 90s ftp was okay because we have a little uh, html and the small ASP scripting programs before PHP is uh, get big and now we have Python, Ruby and yes you know it, a lot of language to develop us so please don't use FTP software to to control your websites or to control anybody other source codes. When you have realized the FTP software is a bad uh, choice to to you as a developer can we talk about version control version control um, we have subversion and we have git repositories and we have one more I can't remember what the, the name is but I know there are one more maybe a lot more so so let's talk about uh, the difference between git and subversion uh, subversion is um, you need a subversion server to uh, to have it to work and you need to create any user you have uh, you have to allow it inside the, the subversion and now you need a file uh, .svn in every folder that, that holds the, his, the history about uh, anything about the project and this project you easily can have 30,000, 100,000, 200,000 files because any uh, history files is inside the .svn folder to hold uh, permissions and history and whatever is, is changed inside the project. On Windows, a subversion can be really slow. I have uh, experience about that back in the 2003 and 4 in the in the old work where where we use that first and uh, when we have to build the big project it's really slow to update and pull down and anything else so I have uh, I need to find the solution so I have a, a mate that, that tell me about uh, git so I stood in the git and uh, now I only use git because git uh, do not need any a kind of server you can uh, use bitbucket.org and uh, github.com to uh, to free servers or you can build your own server uh, down in the repositories so if you need uh, uh, your own server and the backup server you can select the different between the, the source so you can push to different uh, sources to the developers if you need that that is a really good thing because if anything is going down you have to completely history down on your developer machine so if if you use github and the github servers are closed tomorrow I don't think that's happened but if or bitbucket does the same and you have the, the copy of your code inside there you simply can download uh, the the source code down as a developer and was anything going wrong and you need to change the source you change the source and the all history is back that's not happening in subversion and uh, here it's a git is really strong because you can uh, commit offline you cannot commit offline with, with subversion so in my professional using in, uh, every day and in my free time to develop for, for small customers and I really have experienced how strong Git is. So I, I 
really recommend Git if you want to, to learn more about uh, version controls. So let's go to the next step. You need to install it on your Windows computer. Now download uh, the Git for Windows. Click on the Downloads for Windows button. And you can see here it's uh, starting. If you uh, will learn more about the GUI tools, if you don't like um, the command prompt and, and whatsoever, if you need to change your GUI tools, you can do that. On on my normally working, I use Tower. It's a Mac only, and they cost uh, sixty nine dollars per user. But you can completely try it free out so, for thirty days. If you need want to, to cross platform, you can um, select show GUIs for, for all OSs and you can um, see here's a six uh, Windows GUIs that I highlight. Let's scroll down. Those, uh, those three here, uh, Git Cola and Git I and Smart Git, it's uh, supported Mac, Linux and Windows. So if you use cross platform in your daily work you sh probably should use one of those uh, git i and git cola it's uh, completely free smart git is not free for it's a free for for non-commercial use but uh, for if you use it on your work you need to pay 79 dollar for for single lessons if you are uh, use a windows and a mac you can choose uh, source free and if you are Windows only user, you can use uh, GitHub for Windows. Yes. So let's show the GUIs for all of us again. So I haven't uh, spoke that uh, the fail. You need to click on the show GUI for, for my for my OS Windows, of course. So let's starting to install Git on uh, Windows, and we click yes. And next, 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 next. Enable system caching. And next. And we don't know we don't need uh, the release notes right now. Setting a git on Windows, I have it here, git GUI. And we need to clone the existence uh, repository, so I go into my personal framework. It's uh, built inside the PHP, it's uh, completely free, you can change. You can use it or you can don't use it. So clone, and we need two locations, and the target. We, yeah, that's fine. We create, nope, select the folder. That's fine. And clone. Oh, sorry. And we use it to pink cow frameworks. So that's fine. And it's cloning. It's a uh, lot faster on uh, on a Mac, but uh, now it's uh, <laughs> it's done, and we have the repositories, and we have the uh, let's see about we can do yeah. If you go to the repository, you can create the desktop icon, and we want it. Yes, desktop. That's fine. So thank you for watching. I hoping uh, this video is. Uh, you can use it and I hope you want to uh, subscribe uh, my channel or this playlist and if you like it you can uh, give it a thumbs up and if you have any question you are welcome to uh, to post and comments below. Thank you for watching and hoping to see you next time.